Hi, I'm Leanne of Respiratory Nurse Specialist at Asthma and Lung UK. I'm going to tell you how to clean and store your spacer. A spacer is a plastic tube that fits onto the mouthpiece of your inhaler. It helps you breathe the medicines into your lungs more easily. Spacers are used with pressurised metered dose inhalers or PMDIs. Keeping your spacer clean and in good condition helps make sure it works properly and you get the best from your medicines. When you first get a new spacer, clean it before you use it. After that, you should usually clean your spacer once a month. To clean your spacer, first take your spacer apart and gently clean it with warm water and a detergent, such as washing up liquid. Although most spacers are cleaned in the same way, check the instructions for your spacer. Only a small number of brands of spacer are dishwasher safe. Use warm water instead of boiling water, as boiling water may damage the spacer. Be careful not to scrub the inside of your spacer, as this can affect the way it works. Some spacers need rinsing, with others it's best to leave a soapy film, which prevents static. Static can make the medicine stick to the side so it's hard to breathe in. If you're not sure, check the information leaflet that comes with your spacer. Leave your spacer to air dry, as this also helps to reduce static. When it's completely dry, put your spacer back together, ready for use. Wipe the mouthpiece clean before you use it again. When you're not using your spacer, storing it properly will keep it in good condition. Keep your spacer away from dust and liquids. Keep your spacer in a breathable bag, such as a cotton or cloth bag, so it doesn't get scratched and so small objects don't get stuck inside it. Don't put your spacer in a plastic bag as this will cause it to build up static. Children could decorate a plastic free medicine bag or a fabric pencil case so they're more likely to use it. Most spacers need replacing every year, depending on how often you use it. Some spacers may need to be replaced sooner. Ask your GP or pharmacist if you're not sure. Spacers are not widely recycled, so you may need to dispose of it in the normal household waste. But check the information leaflet that comes with your spacer to find out how to dispose of it safely. Priming means putting a dose of medicine on the inside of the spacer to reduce static. This is so the medicine won't stick to the spacer. When you get a new spacer, read the instructions to see if it needs priming before you first use it, and how you should prime your spacer. If you have any questions about looking after your spacer, speak to your doctor, nurse or pharmacist. You can also call our helpline.